Hi crafty friends, Colleen here. I wanted to share a little card with you today. It's called a triangle corner pop-up card and it has a small easel card in the middle. Um, it's quite a sweet little card. It opens like this and that folds flat and then that just folds over for postage. It goes in a larger envelope or you could fold it like so and put it in a 4 by 4 inch envelope you know, a four inch envelope but um, I prefer a slightly larger one and this is where you write your greeting <coughs> to excuse me so it just is quite a simple easy little card to make there's not much to it so we'll get started and I'll show you how to make it okay so what we will need here now I've got all my bits and pieces already cut out and ready to go I've already cut out the scallop um, stitch scallop circle so that's it there that goes onto the front of the card I'm going to cut out two one inch oh, I'll punch them now two one inch punched circles from the glitter so I've got two of those uh, this little piece here measures two and one eighth by three quarters of an inch and this one measures two inches by um, five eighths of an inch and that's for our greeting to go inside our easel card. I've already stamped out the flower and the leaves and I've cut, uh, this one I've done two little bows. On this one here I did the fleur de lis but this one here I thought I'd put the little bows up in the corner and that all comes from the stamp set here which is yesterday and today card making like everything in blue is a die cut um, we're also using this these two here for the inside of the card and it says with heart felt <coughs> excuse me sympathy it's a it's a really good one but I cut off the with and placed it with the love so I could have with love and then this one's going to be a birthday card where the other one I turned into um, this is a Mother's Day card and that came comes from the say it was style like happy Mother's Day so that's where that one come from so let's get cracking on with making it it really is a very quick card I found a whole ton of them all all on um, Pinterest and I just thought oh, it was a lovely card and when we had this design I also made them in oh gosh I can't think what it was called one of our other designs I'll put up the photos for it and find the name for you but I was really happy with the way it turned out so let's start scoring <coughs> So our piece of cardstock measures 8 by 8 inches and we are going to score on one eight inch side at 4 inches. Then we're going to turn 90 degrees and score at 4 inches again. Now we're going to score from that score line to that score line and we'll make find a space on our board and score. And then you're going to turn 90 degrees and do it again. That's how you get your two corner folds. Like so. That's how you get these. So I will just move the scoreboard out of the way. And we'll fold and burnish our card. And it needs to be really well burnished, this one. Okay, so that's how that will look. Now, if you turn it over, you can see the score line really easily, and we are going to actually remove the whole score line. This will help the card to sit better. If you leave it in, it won't fold properly. If 
You can use your trimmer to do this, but I like to use my bigger scissors. Let me come up here. I'm just going to cut that away. So as you can see, it's just the score line I've removed. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And that is the basis of our card. Or what you will have to keep doing for a little while just till it gets into the hang of where it has to go is just keep reinforcing it all the time. Now the cardstock I've used today is vanilla, French vanilla, that's the colour. It wants to sit. Once it's got all its bits on, it does sit better. So that's how it's going to look. So now we'll get on with decorating it. We need to have three pieces of yesterday and today paper. So that's the back of it. Um, two of them are going to fit here. And this one we're going to cut so that it will sit up in here. So we'll just get the trimmer. And we're going to lay that in the middle. So have your points in the channel. And always start off the paper so that you don't damage the ends when you cut. Now we'll attach these. And I like to butt that right up against the edge of that fold line. Like so. And glue it down so that it'll fold back like that. If you want to make it smaller then you just cut this piece at 5 eighths of an inch instead of um, instead of 3 and 3 quarters you cut it 3 and 5 eighths but I don't mind that going to the edge like so. Oh I need to move that one. Come on, you can do it. There we go, that will do. So that's how that bit will look. And they just fold backwards. So I just need to re burnish this bit. That's it. So now with these pieces here, <coughs> They're just going to fit onto here, like so, with a border around them. Then I'm going to stamp onto this one here in Espresso ink. Oh, here it is. So you just, I've got ink on my block, so you're just going to stamp in the corner, like so, turn it round and do the opposite corner, and then you'll stamp these ones, so you have a left and a right corner. And that's how you do that. And, oh, where have I put my birthday? Here it is. And then I'm just going to stamp happy birthday in the middle. And there I have it. There's my sentiment done, ready to go. And I'll just attach that to here. Right, so our card's made up to this point. We'll pop these little bits on and then we'll make the easel card. So I'm just going to adhere these circles into the corner. 
like so and grab some 3D foam dots and I'll put it out. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I've come down with a bit of a sore throat. My young grandson, my new grandson gave it to me. Little sweetie that he is. Oh. So I'll put them on an angle. And that's our bows in the corner. So you can see it's starting to all come together now. Now we'll make our easel card. Right, I'll bring over the big shot. Now what we need to do is you need a piece. Now this was the bit, because it was a 12 inch piece of cardstock, when I cut off a four inch strip, I just thought I'll use that. I've scored it at three inches and I'm going to place, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'll just reinforce that. I'm going to place my circle, my three inch circle from the uh, shaker window. And I just want to show you something. When it goes on, it's got to hang off the edge because you're making a little card out of it. So you run that through. I'll show you in a minute. We'll just cut one more circle for the front. Right, so now we have our little card and our top piece for it. So what I'm going to do first is get the scoreboard and I'm going to lay the card on and I'm going to score it at one and a half inches just on one of the sections and fold it down and that now becomes our easel piece. I'm going to add adhesive to here and then stick, fold it flat. So you're only putting adhesive on that piece there, not on here. Fold it flat, take our circle, place it over the top and there's your little card made. So you can see how easy it is. Now I'm going to adhere our scalloped circle, stitch circle on the top and our flowers which I will use some. I've just coloured them in using the tri blend markers and this is the dull green and the um, dark red. And I've just coloured them in using the three different colours to give me the layered look, this one, that colour comes from one of our ladies, Amanda. She said she found the rose, she loved it so much, but all she could do was colour it in with, um, make it red all the time. So I'll peel off the backing. And that's going to go into the middle of the front, like so. And then I'm going to stamp wherever I've put it, right here, in Espresso Ink. going to dovetail the ends. So I line them up and I cut in Whoop, that shifted a fraction. And 
and then drop it back to the other end. Cut up and in. My neighbour next door, if you can hear that beeping, that's his cement truck. Right, so there's our little um, banner done. So I'll just adhere that on. So that's just going to go there. And then I'll put some 3D foam dots onto the back of the banner. Oh, excuse me. And adhere that on. So it'll sit like that. Then I'll put some adhesive onto the back. And then that. Now I found the best way to do this is to open the card out. Look where those that line there is and line it up with that and pop it in the middle. You can't go straight or it'll be skew if it's got to be on the angle. So now when I close up the card and lift that piece, I have my my card. And that one says happy birthday and I've got ink on it. Yes, that'll be right. So that's how that one looks. And then this one here is our Mother's Day one. So as you can see, it's a really simple, easy little card. Ooh. And I'm really, really pleased with the way it's come up. I hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial today. Uh, feel free to go over to my blog for all the measurements. Um, and happy afternoon. Bye.